the pistol. Does not work out, but they got the full retake coming in. Config with the first couple. Delivering Ooh. revenge, Config. Four kills going for the ace. Has to reload, but surely the round is over. Blame F alone against, well, now four. Also so symbolic that it's actually Blame F taking him out at the end. <laughs> <laughs> it is. They were meant to finish together at one point, but... Um, I mean, uh, if, uh, this could easily be the case that if NIP want to sort of have a really good shot at this, somebody like Config has to step it up. He wasn't really delivering in the last match. They won anyway, but obviously he is such an X Factor and an amazing player. And you see it right there. Four headshots for the clock, absolutely <laughs> killing the round before he even got started. Also super awkward for all trade potential for nice. Astralis. There's only one doorway to go out of, so it's get tagged. So at least it's not completely for nothing. Stown's picked up the scout, and there's the headshot to dig down, Alex. That's not necessarily a bad return. Technically a double stack towards Bank right now for the CT side. But he's already crossed. I don't yeah. think he's big. Rest to be to the left. Let's see. Stay out behind the truck. Will be taken out. And oh, another nice headshot from Stown coming in. Config with his sixth of the game. His seventh coming in now. What a start from Config. He's continuing. He's out for blood. Yeah, he probably inside of his own brain wanted to take that fight, but <laughs> it, it's good not to do it. Um, not even it, just because he dies, but if he if he gives the AK over to Stown, then he can run away with it, and and maybe you don't want that. Yeah, it's hard really to overstate how much of an impact he can have. This device with a kill, oh, and not quite okay. getting the spray through. So Yabby's gonna be able to pick up another one. Two versus three. If they get one more kill, there it is. Down with the headshot. Config's looking the wrong way. He's gonna go down. NIP. This should not be happening. Yeah, I was about to say, as long as they keep the three AKs alive and bring those into the next round, it's fine for NIP, but this is far timing. from fine. The timing. That's one. It's for free, and Stown will gain a round. Oh, no. Device. I can't believe he got the AWP out in time, but he should have been dead for nothing then. That's, that's not something you normally see. Yeah, first off, you don't see that mistake yeah. ever from Device, but on the other side, NIP 9 out of 10 times will punish him without losing a player there. Config going for the time. Actually, can kill Blame F in the side. Blame F has not the high ground, but in this case, the low ground, which is beneficial. Uh, they're getting really close to the bomb side. They're going to see the trajectory of that grenade, so they'll have a little bit of a clue of where one of the players is, but they have no idea about the step. He was actually playing incredibly well last time, and it looks like s in a lot of trouble here. Just you can see the crosshair being placed at the perfect position there for Stown. He's going to pick up the kill. And on the other side, it's just two people left. Stown is having himself a real good game. There's no... Peaks out. And trouble rather quickly. Only getting one, and I think the AK bounced a little bit away from the T side, so Device will have his work cut out for him. Taking out these clock players. Switching to the Deagle. Has to rotate back down to 42 HP, but the, the rotation comes in from Yabi. Device actually getting blocked at range, so that's a little bit surprising. But the round still should be fine. They're quite low on health. Oh, that grenade, if they step into it, they're going to run away from it, and that's running into the rifles instead. So I don't think there was any good winning that one. Config, one versus two, and he's just going to get locked in the corner. So yeah. The jerseys are out. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, maybe there is Alex! He gave away what could have been a free kill. At least they get down in return. Config still not able to miss many shots at the moment, but Device should have been dead and leaving him alive. Never a good thing if you're on the opposition here. Device with a double. Can't believe it. He's got he's got away with a couple of rounds already. Like I was about to say, like, is he a cat or something? Like he has nine lives. Spent two of them so far, so let's see if he can take out the remaining seven throughout this game. Ridiculous. 4v3. Stack getting tested. Alone on B side. Has no backup close. Jeb is coming from heaven. Sees him. That's very close to perfect for Stair. And they think it's too good to be true. They expect one more to be the rest gets the one. Great aim there by Rest, great cross placement as well. But has to get the bomb down and blame if it's so very low, but there might be a timing here. No, they double stack it, and that's not a problem. Four to two for Astralis. Up to the yeah. legacy of Sonic, <laughs> especially. Nobody wants to be in that, in that boat, but um, 
Here we go. Round number seven. Pass the play. Yeah, why not? Trying to get the jump through, but that monster play is pretty much already dead. There, having himself a little highlight reel. Okay, that's a bit of a start, but 35 seconds here. They gotta be careful. There's still a Molotov on device. He can try and slow things down. But other than that, they don't have any grenades left either. 25 seconds. There's a bit of a peak in. They're going to get confirmation. It's definitely ending up the B-bomb side, but it doesn't matter. There's not enough defense here. Yeah, two one-for-one -one duels is exactly what the T-side wanted here. All right, this behind this one. No chance to save the orb from the vice. Oh, Unless Davin is going to help him out. Let's wait and see. Device has to clear every single corner. He will try to, and he will succeed. Damn. Tech 9 coming out. Yeah, I think Stavin communicated that he could have been timed, could have been all the way through A side, either through long or the toilets. So it will be another round for NIP. That's third on the scoreboard. But as we look towards the money of Astralis, it's not really that big of a problem yet. No, I think they're... Uh, NIP, due to the Molotovs, they realize there's a gap on Monster. Not even peeking, it's there. <laughs> Trying to get the wall bang, and that's a good choice. Oh, wow. Almost gave up his life peeking into the AWP, but a missed shot. Yeah, Hedrick usually hits those. Missed this time around. Now they have the double stack. Yeah, we see Down this monster. We see this setup all the time. Yeah. It's all about the first guy. Can he get the first kill? I mean, this is the exact way that NIP are going right now, so this could be a potential good setup for Stratus, but the first guy goes down and. The whole house of card. Especially because they're playing anti-flash, right? One of them is meant to be flashed through, but because there's no flashbang for NIP, it's just config walking into shooting oh. them. The second player is not ready to turn around, but still, Flame F trying to bring it back. He will go down. 19 seconds on the clock. Oh my god! Config! Four kills again. And it is surgical on that last one. Precision like you've never seen it before. Ooh. Bam coming through. It's real close. And if he would have had it down, he might have been able to win the round right then and there. But now they've slipped away. The smoke, nobody's inside of it right now. It's just down having to move closer, trying to duck under it. But they're waiting on the other side. He's inside. He's got the kit, but I don't think he'd get the defuse. He has to actually find them. Oh, that right no, behind no, him. He has no ideas. There's the one. But Conflict in his back for the ace instead. Nobody on Astralis plays 16 by 9. I hear the vice along. Is he going to get the kill? But Blame if he's on the other side of the maps. Blame if he's in T spawn right now. The vice will survive this, surely. And now Blame if can come in with the wraparound. I swear that's another one of Device's nine lives gone. He should have been dead right <laughs> then and there, but I just, I, he keeps getting away with it. A little bit of spam coming through, and there again, not even facing Alex, but still able to get the kill. Yabby with the other one, and that is the round Device showing up from the side. They have to get an opening kill NIP for this round to have any kind of merit for them. Config with Deagle head armor, as attack with Deagle small armor, and a timing peak, one for one. That means a weapon. Taking time with Blame if getting one for one in these full ecos is simply not worth it. Let's drop the, the M4. Really good. Oh, nice from Stair. Secondary duels coming in again. The pistols will be eaten. Up by Stair. We just spoke about it. They want to rotate to A and then Yabi is going to have to close the rotation through underground. It's, maybe it's going to be Stair. He's actually coming all the way yeah, to the T-Bone. Let's see. They gamble on the A-play. He's communicating moving forward. The flashback oh. is good, but it doesn't even matter. Pre-fired S tag practically walks into it and about to be shot in the back is Rez. Now he will get that kill, but surely he's dead real soon. The flank has been going on for quite a long time and it is still happening. He's there. He hears the footsteps. He knows that he's out there. 30 seconds on the clock as well. Blame him for close. He's gonna get shot down by head trick and is the flank too late? Stare. All right, there we go. And Yabby with the double kill. It took a long time, but they managed to close the there, taking down head trick. They should be able to get the bomb planted pretty swiftly. And I don't see a kit on any one of the moment. They're sound stepping up. Takes a swing at Config and puts him out of the round. Maybe Astral is about to win their first pistol round here with a bomb plant and with a 10 second defuse. It's looking real good. Have to get up the table at some point, and this looks to be the time. Rest and S attack remaining. Taken out slowly but surely. As attack will run away with 5 HP. No chance for him. Config must be kicking himself. Like he had 
two or three good opportunities. He, he was the player to change yeah. the outcome exactly. of the round, but he didn't. So like all the single smoke lineups on yeah. every single map they play, like, it's, I'm fine with them not being able to remember all the strats. Stran is losing a lot of HP. Oh, wow. Yeah. Blame it for already very low. He's got the Mac 10, but see if the Galils can finish it off here. Yeah, crisis averted. Short moment where maybe you, you could Ooh, doesn't even matter. Funfig running into him. Only able to pick up the kill. Rez with the timing. He's hearing the footsteps. He can't obviously run after them or he'll give up his own position, but he's trying to close the distance and get a little bit closer. Nobody from the Astrala side is thinking about this. Rez, he should be winning this round, although his teammates are dying in the bomb side device. He lives again. Another life. And now it's Alex. One versus three. Take another one off the counter risk because that five that, lives remaining. He, he should have been dead. That's a must win for NIP. He has so good position. Ridiculous. Yeah, we have a social media post like in the making. Too obvious. If it, Australis is smart, they should realize that one is close. Yeah, it's one of the most overlooked positions somehow. The one that Rez is in. Like everyone should be checking it, but somehow they're oh, not. Oh, Rez. Yeah, there is the double. The C set 75. Alex gets a kill on the blame F. And it's just device left. He's gonna go down. My god. Like I said, I think it has to be. You don't want to have three people that are all standing exactly where S tag is. That just could be really weird. Ten seconds on the clock here. S tag wants to be the hero and stop the bomb plant, but he can't. And now he's in a little bit of trouble. He's gonna go down. Yabby with the double instead. Rez coming in from the L Ben, but he gets shot down. Somehow Astral is able to convert this into a victory. Head trick. Unable to find a shot with the AWP until it's basically too late. Great double from Yabi there. Super important that he gets those two kills very quickly. And look how valuable it is for the CTs to save that off. The yeah. CTs are instantly hunting. They know it's an overpass. They can't let this one save. Oh, he could actually go for the ninja if he was really fast there. <laughs> and <laughs> that would have been ice cold. I'm not sure if he's going to die to the bomb here. It's going to be very close. Oh, moves away. Oh, oh no. no! Oh dear! No. Oh no! That's you know where he is, and he's locked into this position. Alex, though, will defeat Gabby. That's something in config. Helping out, catching his old teammate in Blame F. Just device left. All right, a little bit of a bounce back. It's not over just yet. Device 1v4. Surely not going to win this. Not going to give anything away, though, either. Oh wow, look at this timing coming in. Hattrick finding device, but not with the AWP, with the pistol this time around. Last two players remaining will be blame and down. Hard for them to do anything, but maybe they can... Bomb plant the bomb. Get the bomb down. They can kill the guys, he's saying go B actually. Exactly, but they're just gonna go for the bomb plant and then hold the dumpster angle. Bomb plant has succeeded. Let's see if Stown can make anything magic happen. Oh, no way. He's looking for it. He's low in attack. Kill. It was lightning fast, and now s is boxed in. Having a hard time, but... They will get the kill on Stown. Now it's on Blame F. They tap the bomb once. They obviously have defuse kits, so Doesn't they should be able to defuse. I don't think you can stop it, but my god, that's an expensive round. I would really love to see Blame F going for this one. I know. He's still going down. I thought maybe Stown had a chance there to catch him out in the open. A horrible moment for this Rez who's now behind the tree and they're doubling up against him. He's still good for the headshot. Or well, the kill at least on Stair. That's pretty impressive. I think that's the first time that I've seen Stair looking uncomfortable in this match so far, in that situation. Yeah, it should have been a, a 4v3, that's for sure. Yeah. It's still a good sign if, if this is the first situation and he's still good a young player. By Hattrick in mid-round realizes most of the action is towards long, takes the initial space in the toilets, gets an easy kill in the rotation. For NIP, they will be on 8 now. Oh, they're getting there. Just gonna smoke towards heaven. Turning the clock down so low behind the smoke here. 17 seconds. Alex, that kill is probably all they need. Slowing them down even further. 10 seconds on the clock here. The Deagle not connecting. Devices on his own. Doing a fine I'm job in terms of the kills and oh. running for the bomb plan. He might, he's gonna be able to get a, Oh no! He pulls out oh, the AK and he gets one! Oh. My god, it could have been close. He had time to spin around. Let's see. Let's <laughs> see about that. All right. 
Alex Tank getting something on the board. Oh, Alex taking a lot of damage here, but S attack helping out. I don't even care if that kills against pistols. If you only have like two or three kills, just around like this, it's still kind of nice, isn't it? You know, that was his fifth kill right there, and the three of them are in the, in this round so far. Yeah. Who cares? Just tr tr get anything. Just real close. Sam in a fair bit of trouble. No one's there to help him out. Boss! He'll get the kill anyway. Config. He smelt that weakness, but there proving to be a little bit too much. Smoke will fade. Oh wow. It's one. <laughs> That's nice from Alex, but that's attack is there as well. Trading through his flame F. Nice done. Rez gambling on the second burst there, but the first one was absolutely fine. Grenade down. It's not on stair, otherwise he actually would have been dead by one point of health there. It's 26 or 27 damage grenade. But it's a two versus two. The bomb is planted, and this is for all the marbles if you're on NIP. You want to get this round through. Hattrick gets another one. A Molotov and a little bit of a spray, but it doesn't matter. Strong headshot. NIP, they keep the dream alive. Again, he's had such a tough game, and now he's on his own. I don't think he heard it. He needs to get two kills. Yeah, at a minimum, you're right. Double kill is what's needed here. He gets one. A little bit of a tag on the sound. Here's the double. Oh. Keeps it going. The triple is on. And he nearly had the quad kill, but... He's done more than enough here. Blame it for device. Two versus three, because S-Tag finally woke up towards the end of the map. And now NIP need to get this defuse to get this game into overtime. A Molotov down, that's actually devastating. They just have to push on forward. They have to push right through it. Taking only a little bit of damage. In fact, Blame goes down, and now it's device. One versus three. He's at the L bend. Three opponents on the other side. They tap the bomb once. They want to know who he is. He gets the one. Oh. Keeps it going. The defuse has to stop. But my God. Is that time? Head trick. Gets. But they should be. What an absolute giga chad. How has he done that? <laughs> I don't know how he's done it. But, but look at the position he's in. Like, as far as think, okay, we faked A initially. Yeah, There's the probably no one going to be pushed. The grenades would have slowed him down getting here, you know? Yeah. Like, who cares about it? He's <laughs> in the corner. Oh, they check it, but still, Config will get the shot onto the device. I, <laughs> I want to believe that he just made the choice not to do it. Yeah. That's what I'm saying to myself as well. GG3. 5 HP on Blame F, so it would be hard for him to get much done here. Oh, Riz also gets the timing. At the perfect timing. Yeah, it can't be much better than this. Not in Oh, okay. Loses the bomb. They have to go back for it. Almost impossible now. Yep, please. Spawn will have to play an insane clutch. I was going to say, the traditional Counter-Strike script says that Astralis win this round. Because that's <laughs> how it is. Like, you lose all the rounds into overtime, and they're yeah. like, oh, here's the round we needed. That's true. Let's wait and see. Oh, that's almost a one-way smoke for Alex. Just the right side of it to use. Now it's down, 1v3, has gotten the first one in the back. Bomb goes down, Monster Angle probably one up next for him. He can't really find his way in the smoke. Oh. Okay, it's down. Crazy movement all over the place. Very hard to find these angles, down. He'll have his back turned and it's gonna be rest again. It's they actually have a 3B side right they now. They have a sight. Nobody's in here. That's, that's the only positive thing for them, but... Will they just go quick in and get the bomb down? Yeah, they will. Yeah. Oh, but this time playing really far back. This angle here from Blaine could be deadly. Stair will be the first line of defense, I think. Nice to try and slow them down. Nobody's going for the boost. It's a little bit too obvious, perhaps. Great nade. Stair finding the first one. Together with the Blame F down in towards the water, but the flashbang is working. Stair still alive. Device will clutch it up. The, the entry to an IP. Config, there's no way he gets out with two kills there. That is almost criminal. And a potential for a third, but Stair, he holds strong. Taken out from the back, though. 1v3 for Device. Ooh, gets the timing on hair trick. Thinks he's to the left of it. 1v2 now. This is the round that and Device he, can win. He doesn't hear anyone in CT. Might expect both to be from behind. Yeah, he is a god at this game, so I wouldn't really be surprised. The flashbang to set it up. 
Yeah, he's sure no one's coming from this direction. He sent it up, but the grenade will take him down. He was in the game. Oh, he doesn't see him. Oh, he does. Yeah, he should have a bit of a read here and blame it. Defeating Convict over by the restrooms. 20 seconds here. It's a very low clock for NIP, and they're not really making enough of a breakthrough at the moment. 15 seconds left, and Hedrick missing a oh, shot. Oh, wow. down. oh my god, his read of the game is so good. Alex, one versus four. Trying to get something done, but his sounds are mm -hmm. having the gimmick tricks. Uh, Astralis seem like one of those teams that almost never try something like that. Like, they're not big fans of the gimmicks. Too many plans. Too many players wants to do stuff. Yeah. Nobody's wanting to boost. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants to boost. <laughs> that is funny. Um, now, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. He's down, getting a double. One of them is teammates. Not a third one. Still two more towards stay side. And they know where the AWP is. They want to try and see if they can box him in. Yabby there to try and hold the fort, and he nearly relocates in a perfect position, but Device is in a lot of trouble. He got the call from his teammate that one of them was low, so he tried to finish it with a pistol, but oh, the kill was a secondary angle, but rest pops up. Gets him to go. And now that clock is really painful for NIP. 30 seconds here. They can't be slowed down too much for, otherwise they're gonna run out of time to plant the bomb. s tag goes down, stay with the kill. Blame him. In the back, and Alex on his own. 20 seconds, looking for any opening he get. My God, he ran forward and still gets the headshot on Blame F. One versus one. Yabby coming in on the one side, oh, Alex crouching in, 10 seconds on the clock, he fakes it again, spots it out, he can't get the shot! Oh, and now he's Those running guys. out of time, Alex, no more bullets, and Yabby! Will Once again, aggressive, and will catch Rez. Now they have the benefit of starting CC in this overtime, should also help out. Yeah. Astralis. Potentially lock down the first two, and then go for the third as well. Let's see. Ooh, okay. All right, Yabi and Stair in unison. Stair was really good in regulation down at the bomb side. He got tested quite a bit and he came up with some nice defensive plays. Yabi to take care of business. Alex out of the round and obviously head trick. I have no, no idea how Alex got that kill. He was completely flashed. But, uh, no. Yep. Oh, this is a, it's a very awkward for an IP, isn't it? Oh, oh wow. He's the leg. Oh. Unfortunate timing for Blaine. Now they have a decision to make. Are they IP. gonna fake it? Yeah. Are they gonna run in or are they gonna rotate? They're gonna run in. Arrest first man on the spot, but will be taken out by Stair. Just down, just sitting. Oh, he plays the entire team. He plays to kill the bomb in the end. 15 seconds. He sold all of them down. Nobody knows that he's in the corner. 10 seconds on the clock here. He's gonna be crouching out. There's one. The next is inside of the smoke. Oh, he gets oh. Oh, my god! Arrow now. Should be convict to deliver it if stats tell a story. He will be taken out here. Oh my god. Oh, wow, Yabi, that's such a great play. Tough position to get anything out of, and he gets two kills rotated. Very true. That that is you have, a lot going on. You have these thoughts as a player. I remember having like, oh my god, if I just won that round, we would be here. Oh wow, rest great opening. Coming in from the side. They are on the site now, holding back, but the rotation is coming. Yabi's here. Can he get his third of the round? Yes, he will. And the fourth as well. Yabi stepping up. One D. Oh! But head trick. He is surely dead. The only question is, can he take anyone with him? He can. Blame Yabi's it. lost, and they finally get him out. But Rez is there in the meantime. They are still trying to find this. Connector player, underground player, config will take down Blame F and now Device has a mountain to climb. Stairs coming in to help him, but there's so little that can be done, but Device and Stair both find one. And now it's a 2v2, it was a 4v2, now it's a 2v2. Oh, and Alex is really far away. I don't know if Rez made any noise coming here, if he was walking the whole way, but it doesn't look like they're quite aware. They're probably guessing that someone's gonna be coming in from this side. Awkward open de position for Device. Yeah, I don't. I can understand why he wants to relocate. He doesn't want to stay that open. Oh, it's another headshot. There with the triple. And Astralis, they just need one more round. But Alex trying to see if he'd hold on. He failed the last 1v1. He has to get this one to get it into triple overtime. That's what he's looking for, but he can't do it. There instead, the quad kill. And it's Astralis to pick up the opening map.
Yeah, very Maybe not playing his usual position at the moment, but it is a pistol round, so I guess that makes sense. Config pushing forward with the dualies. Oh, what a jump! What? I need to see the replay. I don't know how they got that kill. My God. Yabby will take up res as well, and they are powering through Astralis. A strong start here to the second map. The bomb is going to get planted. Two versus four. Yeah, that went so fast for Astralis. There was absolutely no chance for NIP to do anything there. To quote the uh, your old teammate, colleague, Semna, like kittens into a blender, as he would say. True, very true. Oh, wow, Alex, though, bringing it back now. Yeah, he has the kit as well, but... Still, Astralis have to keep facing for this to work out. He's going to tap the bomb once, and now there is nothing he can oh, do. Nice. Blame F, giving him a little bit of a taste as well. A couple of good shots, but man, the first kill, I, I'm not even sure how that worked. I'm actually so confused. Against the full eco from Nip. Four kills for Blame. Now he's going to go down in this round, and that's a bit awkward. All right. Device getting caught in the middle. Uh, but it's a really fast round, and they're going to be able to pick it up. For rest to kind of like take the early control there. It'll be a B-pop now. Alex is going to come under pressure. He rotates away, and they want to play the retake. Config, though. Great damage, Alex. Rotating on towards the back of the bomb side. We'll get another one. Blame F all alone, and he'll be taking a perfect hold from NIP. Yeah, like we, we said at the start, you know where Config's going to be playing. And it is always going to be that B-bomb side. Sometimes he's aggressive the hallway, sometimes he's playing the catwalk like that, but you know the area of the map that he's going to be in. And the question just is, you know, do you want to fight him? They did, and they lost two kills to him, two to Alex. He's down. Some damage would be really nice. Head trick. Oh, he's just in the window already. Slightly overexposed enough to get the kill on Blame F, or for Blame F. Now they have to make a decision here, Astralis. Either go in towards Alex and the B bombs have to rotate back towards A where device oh. is currently at. But look at Config. So Config is checking out, I think he's checking out Connector at the moment. He's going to be a while, although they're slowing down. Maybe it's not going to be a problem. I thought they were going to go quick through T spawn yep. to get to A, but the fact that they're going through middle means Config has a little bit more time because they're walking the whole way. So this flank could actually be pretty sick. 35 seconds, head trick. Timed again. He's gonna come back just like Rez did. Comes back to check, and suddenly there's three people there. That's pretty devastating. Although Alex, he's good for a kill. 20 seconds left now. And they are pretty low on the Astralis side. They should be winning this round here in IP. Two weapons though, but still very, very hard to win this one. Config coming in for the back, and it will be uh, a round for an IP. Two weapons taken away though by Astralis, so not completely useless. Got a deagle still on stair. But Blame F trying to open up against his old teammate. Config able to best him. Rez, I don't think anyone even knew that he was up here. Now there's a second player. Rez should be dead. He's being hunted. There we go. Device able to find him, but it took an extra second, and that's enough for Hedrick to take him out. Rez has such a long history of playing aggressive in middle on this map. Like, even if you go all the way back to the days of Disco Doppler and then Epsilon, he was still doing that. Yeah, his comfort zone right there. Yabby has the right idea. We'll see if he trusts it. On top into the corner, but you can relocate up the ladder. It's Yabby looking for the opening and actually getting it. S tag goes down. It's a bit curious. Oh, right time. I think Config might have saved his teammate. Oh, for Hedrick sure. was on the other side. Could have been dead. And that's also like a, a good example of the communication. Like Hedrick knows his back is covered because Config has communicated. He's holding the angle. Yabi now trying his best, but it's going to be a hard mission for him to accomplish. Oh, and waiting for Yabi. Just rotating back so he can take the duel, then turn around, take the duel towards the ramp. Perfect for mass attack. Two versus five. And the fact is, for an IP, their economy is a little bit better than, than what it just was, but if they can keep four or five people alive here, it absolutely will help them down the stretch of this opening half. Oh, Config. He has this one on lock. He even tries to pre-fire Blaine. Trying to bait each other out. Surely Config, with the help of Rez, will take the duel 4-2. to two. Important. 
shot over as Hetrick runs away, but no one to receive it on the other side just yet. Stown not going to put out the Molotov, just wants to go straight for it. Contact, this is an interesting angle. Scary for Contact. He has the backup, the rest is sneaking up towards the mid, and Alex is coming around the corner from short. They should be able to refract this, and they will. Two for one trade in middle. And Yabby goes down. Bomb is right there, so they can pick it up again, but two versus three, I mean, in 10 seconds. And he just has reactions like nothing you could even imagine. I, I actually would love to see that replay or see it from Stan's point of view. Maybe somebody can find it after the game because that is... I, I, it didn't look like he was anywhere close <laughs> enough to be able to take that shot. Then it was also a wall bang, right? Yeah. So he shot him through the ledge, basically. That's ridiculous. Well, it's a four and three, but Alex is very low on health, and they still have a minute on the clock, just about. Technically, S attack is all alone on A right now. Has three different angles to hold. Staying in the connector. Maybe so he can help out if they boost over short. They're gonna push for short. We're gonna have all in blue here. Stavin gets the first one. Perfect. Three for one trade, and that's it's the, it's the, the, the Hail Mary, as they say. Alex praying that the MP9 was gonna get him some sort of victory. The rest of them have pistols, and I think Rez is very flashed in that moment. You can really see what was going on. The truth is, the Astralis are about to be at five rounds, and, you know, again, starting on the T side of Mirage, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good beginning. That's perfect. Convict going through the smoke. Almost finds Devon. Not much that Hetrick and uh, S-Attack can do in this kind of situation. Very rough to win okay. that against Blame. Not an easy duel for Blame F. First team, it now smoked off. Hetrick has to rotate away. He saw the AWP of Device and took him out instantly. Time is great. Yeah, they got Blame F in the window. See what he could do with it. Down again, back in action, takes down Rez and Hetrick. He's aware that there could be something dangerous happening, but on the other side, Config is able to defeat Down finally. Now, Blamef is calling from the window. It's kind of a classic position on this map. You rotate around that window position and try and make something happen. Alex will just miss that by a second, and it will be an A play coming in. And they know someone's in CT spawn because he heard the footsteps there, Blamef, so he's going to be able to say that much, but maybe it won't make a difference at all because. Look at the timing, Blamef behind them. Oh, he's going into B. Yeah, but the bomb, he did, they don't have the bomb, that's a problem. So if he had the bomb on his back, it actually would be really interesting, yeah. but... Yeah, but the, the, the CTs doesn't know that. can kill one in the side. That's true, I think it's they, B. they might over-rotate. Let's wait. Gets the first one, now maybe the rotations are coming in. They are, Not but moving. Oh, the timing, he's spotted now. Stay in trouble. He can get away. Um, taking down device, what a round for him. around the smoke is as attack he has the backup behind him peaks up and config will find blame f yabi and stown remaining 22 seconds and now it's all stown taken out by hetrick six rounds bomb is on the back of stair rotating back still trying to find out where he wants to go let's the rest of his team work first and then he can come in with the bomb at the end boost around window did you see him they did Perfect from Res. Absolutely perfect. Still a choice to make here for Astralis. Where they want to go. 40 seconds remaining and... This is really tough because yeah. even if they get head trick or they trade him here, oh. which they don't. Wow. They have to deal with S tank who's up in the palace. It's, just, it's very hard if they were going to come through the connector there to, to find another player. Okay. Yabby is able to get the shot, but Rez quick on the return and they know. Signs with an eight. Yeah, he's going to be dead. Okay. So, the many, can't. so many good rounds from Stair and so many small details he's doing correctly here on this map. Let's see if he can get some sort of. Clutch energy going. 1v2. It's 94. Yeah, 
he's going to walk right into it. Last round here, yeah, but Estag able to find him instead. Beaten by his own countrymen. Uh, it's, a, it's a decent finish. It's really underrated. T-side, the Eagle Pistol, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh let's see. Device. See, with, the, uh, the Eagle would have killed him. Yeah, that's true. Took the silence off the USPS device just to be a little bit edgy. He's doing the simple thing. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, hold on. Let's tag an Alex, bring it back just a tiny bit. He's controlling this. He sees Yabby towards yep. CT spawn, and Yabby has to just try and fall back. Ooh. He's looking for the headshots. My God! He's oh. getting Yabby! That is a ridiculous finish to the round. Hungry. It's all of them, apart from s -Tech. They don't want to play with them, the MP9. Here they go, rushing out mid. Uh, after waiting, it's going to be... Blame F stop. Station coming in towards CT. And a flash play potentially coming in now for Yabi. Let's see if he can get something out of this. Yeah, it's already in the air. Oh! It's Head a good job that one of them was playing anti-flash there. Yeah, exactly. Hedrick had his back turned. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, device, the wall bang, nearly catching him in config. I can't believe that he lived through that one. He should have been dead. 40 seconds, but Astralis, I don't know what they can really do. Bomb getting planted. Device, not able to have much of an impact on the round. Yeah. And it was uh, like very clearly communicated. Oh. As we see a one for one trade in the middle there from, from NIP, they, they took the site, but everyone kept reminding, like, we still haven't cleared CT. Let's plan for another angle. Let's make sure that he can't surprise us. Always looking for, like, where are the potential gaps? What are the potential reasons we could lose the round? And making sure those are covered. And most of these teams have been practicing basically straight from either the 1st or the 3rd of January. So they're in the middle of preparing. They'll take all the experience they can get. Lots of battles out in mid and config will grab the first two before eventually being shot down. But NIP doesn't realize what's going on. Can't push him to his death. Oh, the timing. Alex second guessing himself, and what an awkward battle from either side. Talk about small margins to win a fight. Literally a couple of pixels. Yeah. That's so silly. I now device in Yabi. But for Config to be alone in mid in this situation and also get two kills, not a good look for Astralis. Oh, he should been should have been punished early on. Now device stands alone. Molo, smoke the Molotov and well, kind of get fake. away. We have a guy on A trying to take space here, actually finds the kill. That's the round. <laughs> DJL clapping. Yeah. Let's see if they're gonna get him. Device in the back line, technically ready to help out. Holding the angle towards Palace. At some point, this attack is gonna peek his head out. And that's gonna be the kill for Device. They're gonna... Try and see if they can grab the AK-47, but that's not going to be possible. Oh, Petra just shot it down. They got it. They got it. Oh, they got it, really? He had really long fingers. I have no idea that how that works. That should not be possible. <laughs> no. But, uh, oh. The rushing palace. Oh, wow. Full W pressed. Yabi under pressure. We'll get the first one. Not the second config once again. Shines through. Oh, what a risk for the vice. He actually walked right into the grenades, and still he comes out on top, taking down Convict. A four versus three here, at least for a second now. More grenades raining in for the CTs, really putting some pressure. S tag, the flash is good, but he might have flashed. He might have got flashed as well himself. Yeah. That's not what you want to see. Rez and Hetrick, and Rez is on a on a big flank right now. Hetrick, pretty much on his own at the moment, trying to stay alive here for his teammate to get there. It's a great job for Hetrick, but it might not be enough. Rest is so far away. Bomb is down towards the side. They have to just hold a few angles and. Good decision by Stair to leave. Yeah. And get into a very uncomfortable position to clear for Rest. 45 seconds. How do you get the information? There's the peak. Was EVA play hop here in connector. Not really possible to rotate it if you don't have VF partners. Good Molotov. Oh, great shot from device as well, and a second one for him. A third one potential as Raz is waiting in there. Does he see him when he peeks out? Oh, they're gonna peek from the other side. That's really good, not allowing NIP to sort of wait around for too long. Yes, tag and config. I think you're doing this one, unfortunately. 20 seconds left here. Yeah, you're gonna have to save. 
Pompey probably love to get a couple of kills just to make it expensive, but yeah, it's also risky. He's leg shot it. He needs to get away. 12 HP. Well, it looks like he will get away. Astralis, of course, focusing on their own economy here. Potentially still a few rounds to First initial contact. Yeah. He is going to be there lightning quick. We'll Easy. see. Footsteps are in. They know what's coming. He's there with a good double shutdown. But Blameth, he gets caught by Hetrick rotating in. And it's a bit sketchy now. Jump down to the low ground. Hetrick. Oh, oh. Rose, but fair. Four kills. Absolutely expertly played for the young player. That's everything. That yeah. It's going to be a, a save round here. Of course, a couple of deagles coming in for sure. But nothing really behind it. No armor, no utility. Ooh. Config, he doesn't need anything else. Just the deagle and a dream. Looks like they're gonna be four people alive from Astralis' side, still gaining economy. A great economy gain here, of course. The device will shut down Config, and that's the. Not sure if the device heard it. It's unfortunate. The device pulls out the deagle. He definitely he was talking on the microphone right when it happened, so. Just needs to get one. Oh, one the one to do it. 20 seconds here. There it is. One kill. That's all we're asking for. 16 seconds now. And the, actually, Yabby getting to swing second. Sneech. Here we go. A little bit of change of pace. Trying to get into it. Astralis, they need one more round to claim the grand finals here. That is all they're looking for. But opening kill, and it goes the way of NIP. Oh, play Nev. He's feeling it. Triple kill from him and down. Device will finish it. It will be Astralis to hit 13 and take the trophy at Copenhagen Gaming Week 2024 on home soil. Wow, really, really impressive work. Um, brand new lineup, obviously. The fans are loving it. Everyone's.